that I'm a faculty at uh, IIIT Delhi and my core area of interest are for social computing, uh, social media analysis, human computer interaction and cyber security. Let's do a selfie. <laughs> So how many of you have done what I just now did? In the last, let's take a week or so. Many of you, right? So we all take selfies, right? Selfies has become such an uh, important thing as part of our life. So, uh, and, and these selfies are mostly taken to be uploaded on social networks to, to uh, gain some social currency, so it's called, right? Likes, comments, and shares. And, and these selfies are not only uh, taken by people like you and me, the picture here on the slide actually crashed Twitter, right? When it was uploaded on the Oscar, it actually crashed Twitter. It, this picture is the picture which has gotten the uh, most number of likes ever posted on Twitter, right? It's not only these kind of pictures. Even our uh, prime minister is actually very uh, fond of taking selfies, right? He, he takes selfies when uh, he finds uh, people with him, right? These kind of selfies have become so important as part of our life, but these selfies actually turn into something dangerous also. Right? People not only end up taking selfies like what I did just, just now, but they also take selfies which are uh, some things like this, or with an animal, or something like the other one. Right? So that's the uh, more, the, so to say, the dangerous one. There are even uh, uh, hashtags which are very popular called ultimate selfie, dangerous selfie, all of them. Uh, these are selfies taken on the 50th floor or 100th floor, hanging out of the building and taking these pictures. But the big reason why uh, these kind of selfies have become more popular is because they actually garner a lot of uh, likes and comments. Just look at these two pictures that are presented here. One is the picture, both pictures are posted by the same person. Uh, one is a non-selfie and one is a selfie. And you can clearly see the number of likes the person has gained uh, for so to say a little bit of a dangerous selfie is actually higher. Right? So that's probably the main reason why people end up taking uh, these kind of selfies and post it on uh, social media. So uh, many of you would have seen, uh, so how many of you have seen information about uh, selfie deaths and India being in the top uh, countries? So if you have read anything about this, this data point, which is India in the top list, the reasons why uh, people are dying because of taking selfies, it's research done at IIIT Delhi. All source on the internet or anywhere which is written about selfie deaths, particularly being the data point of India being on the top on the reasons for death, is actually research done by students at IIIT Delhi who work with me. So here are some examples of actually selfie deaths that has happened around the world. This is not just in India, right? Uh, this is around the world. Examples in Australia, India, and other countries around the world also. People die because of taking selfies, but not the selfies that I just took when I started. Right? There are other types of selfies that people end up taking, and uh, people die because of these self selfies. So how did it all start? I think uh, the story, this is a TEDx talk, right? The story is actually more important than what we actually find. Uh, in 2016, this is summer 2016, and, uh, and there is a mailing list that I have with the students who work with me. Uh, we ended up actually getting an e email in the mailing list talking about a selfie death that happened somewhere in the world. Right, this, I got triggered to it. I got uh, interested in looking at uh, what is a selfie death and how it is happening. Uh, got a bunch of students to look at this data uh, more and we found nothing. We, found, we did not find a lot of information about uh, the selfie deaths. Not just the data set so to say uh, for doing research but also for actually figuring out uh, uh, where these deaths are happening and why people are actually dying. Right? So this incident which is posted here uh, where, where multiple people died because of taking selfie was the first incident that got triggered me into the uh, doing research into this topic. And here is another incident which actually became more, uh, so to say, touching hearts to figure out uh, whether we can actually build some solutions. I'm a computer science professor and I'm looking for actually problems around me to use computing skills to actually solve the problem, right? So here is an incident that happened in Bombay. Um, uh, parents giving a smartphone to the kid uh, for a birthday. The kid goes with a friend uh, to take a selfie in the railway station and gets hit by the train and uh, the parents are trying to figure out where the kid is and the friend goes back home without telling the without telling the friends or anybody or the parents also
also and uh, the police is searching for the parents parents are searching for the mortal remains they don't get it two days pass by and then they actually find that this is the person this is the kid of the parents right this incident just touched my heart and i said that uh, being a computer science professor we should actually try and address these kind of problems right computing can actually help in these kind of problems to some extent not not completely but some extent uh, computing can actually help in addressing these problems so that was my introduction so to say uh, into this problem and it's been a roller coaster after that i'll give you some examples of what this roller coaster has been uh, so for those of you who are interested in actually looking at uh, these kind of data or what, what is what things we have done and uh, data sets to play around with, I made everything public. All data that I'm going to be talking about is public. You can actually play around with the data, code, the application that we have built, everything is public, right? So that's the URL to go look for uh, if you're interested in taking a look at what the data set is. So this, this uh, slide is showing you the roller coaster that I had only for 22 days. This was, the report was published on uh, sixth evening our time, and it went live uh, on sixth November of 2016, and this number that I did analysis was on 27th or 28th November 2016. Just for 20 or 21 days, the article was translated, first uh, MIT Tech Review picked it up, and it got actually flashed into many other news, and 17 different languages covered the uh, research, and it got about, so the numbers are there, about 35,000, uh, shares on Facebook, written in 160, 160 different languages uh, and 160 different articles and uh, in just 24 hours, in one day, I was actually talking to every time zone in the world. Right, giving interviews, either TV interviews or radio interviews, talking about this research and why actually uh, taking this, uh, so to say, computing aspect of the selfie deaths would be actually interesting and uh, studying the different parts of the world where people are dying and how people are dying. Right. So that's that's again the power of actually doing something in terms of uh, a societal problem. It's just a simple problem, right? People are dying because of taking selfies. I just collated data from all around the world to show that. That, oh, this is the pattern in which people are dying. And it garnered so much of attention in just 20 days. And even if you just look up for selfie that's now on Google, go to the news uh, section, you will find something written in the last one week also. And this has been happening for the last uh, uh, one and a half years continuously. So how, what did we do, right? So that's the outcome of what we did. But what did we end up doing? What we ended up doing was we built something to figure out, okay, any news article written about selfie deaths anywhere on the internet, we'll just go and collect it. All English written languages uh, articles were collected and we actually did uh, go through these articles and figure out location, age, gender, all of these details uh, we collected. And we also ended up finding that uh, there are fake information about uh, selfie deaths also. People are writing about selfie deaths, which never happened, right? So we went and kind of curated all this, uh, or pruned all this data, and created a data set where we could actually analyze all selfie deaths that are happening around the world. Interestingly, we did this first time, uh, so to say manually, to some extent, uh, semi-automatically. Now we have completely programmed systems which is actually looking at these deaths, deaths happening around the world, and we can actually see uh, live uh, information about these deaths that are happening around the world, right? So I'll actually show you later a demo of what you can actually go do to help this problem. Okay, so now the, the, the data that we collected, I'll walk you through a little bit of uh, uh, what data we collected and how it is actually making so much of discussion around the world, so to say. Uh, when we analyzed the data, we actually found that India is, so as of today, as of today, if you just go look at the data set, we have 219 deaths that has happened in the last, uh, from, from summer 2014. 219 deaths around the world because of selfies, right? And if you look at the numbers of that, 133 are actually actually from India. Right? So that's a lot of deaths that are happening in India. And India is the only country where multiple deaths have happened because of one selfie, selfie incident, which is I try to take a selfie. For example, one death that happened was I'm, I'm standing uh, in front of a lake trying to take a selfie uh, with a lake. I fall into the lake. Okay, Four people jump to save me. I walk out of the water alive and four people die. 
right? And there's another incident which happened uh, in, in southern part of India where seven engineering college students after their eighth semester go enjoy themselves and go to the cliff and seven people, uh, six people lie down in the cliff and the seventh guy all holding the hand uh, trying to take a selfie and this person slips, all seven persons slip uh, from the cliff and all seven die on the spot. Right? One incident, one uh, uh, selfie causing multiple deaths. India is the only country where these multiple deaths are happening, by the way. And there are many other reasons also. I'll walk you through the reasons of uh, these kind of selfie deaths. And when I started the research, I did not know that India was going to be in the top. The, I mean, I've been always asked by uh, people saying that, oh, you are from India. So did you know that India was going to be in the top and therefore you started the research? Nothing. I just, I just, I just got interested in this problem and started actually looking at the data set. Okay, so uh, other researchers have done this to show that females actually take more number of selfies. That's understandable, yes? But the problem is males die more, <laughs> right? The number of selfies that are taken by uh, totally, women take more selfies. But from the data we find that, this is our data, we find that actually men die more. Right? So that's the gender information that I said before. And here are the reasons why uh, reasons why people actually die. Right? The reasons are the size actually represents the amount of deaths that are happening. Primary reason why people die is actually height. Okay? Height, water, train. There is some relationship between taking a selfie with your friend with a complete train in the in the view of the picture, showing that the strong relationship between friends. I don't know what's the connection, right? We're trying to figure out these kind of questions now. But uh, height, water, and train are the three big reasons. The other reasons are electricity, animals, car and guns, right? Guns are also another reason why selfie deaths are happening. Here is, here is uh, quickly with the way it works. So this is a uh, gun, okay? This is the camera and this is the gun. I'm trying to selfie, I'm trying to take a selfie with the gun. Instead of triggering my camera, I'm triggering my gun and I'm dying. <laughs> Right, so this is the death that has happened around the world and it's not just one. So this is the number that is happening from uh, 2014, right? The number has been consistently increasing from 14 till 16. I don't know whether I want to take credits for this number going down in 2017, uh, but the number went down in 2017. This is after the report that was published in number 2016. I can't find a direct correlation with the research that we did, but I'm just speculating and I'll give you some reasons why I think that this effect is probably because of some of the awareness that we're creating uh, through this process of collecting data and doing some analysis with it. So here are some examples uh, uh, how we have actually ended up building uh, computing solutions for it, right? So, uh, so how many of you are on Facebook? So we built we built a, a Facebook chatbot. The, the reason why we built a Facebook chatbot is because most of you are on Facebook, right? Uh, so this chatbot, essentially how it works, you can uh, you can have a conversation with this chatbot saying, I'm I'm in this location, I want to mark this location as actually uh, dangerous, right? So this is saying, hi, the, the system will come back to you saying, do you want to share the location that you are? You share the location. When you're sharing the location, it will actually ask you, why do you want to actually say that this is dangerous, right? You connect it to the research that we did, major reasons that uh, we had, we actually say that, tell us which reason is the reason why the selfie death uh, or this place is actually dangerous, right? Now, if you start marking every location in this world as dangerous, right? Dangerous or non-dangerous, so to say, this information, I think, can be actually used for solving many other problems. Even though I started off with actually addressing the selfie death, this information can actually be used for addressing many other problems that we see because of unnatural deaths that are going on around the world, right? So that's the motivation, so to say, to pick it up. And so when you say that uh, uh, this is the location and this is the reason, we actually give you an information saying that, thank you for reporting your 35 reports away from pizza. So what we did was incentivize people, if you put in 50 uh, locations as dangerous, we'll actually send you a food coupon for pizza, right? So that's the incentivization mechanism. And you can actually go look at uh, uh, stats saying that how much, uh, what is the current status of selfie deaths around the world and it will actually give you a distribution also. Actually today you, you can even go to a, uh, with the safety board, you can just say check, C-H-E-C-K, 
it will actually tell you whether this location that you're standing now is dangerous or not with the information that we have collected around the world, right? So we ended up actually making this more public, more people to actually see it, more people to use it, and uh, that was face uh, Facebook uh, chatbot. I'm sure many of you are Android phone users. If you're an Android, you can actually use the Android application also, which helps you to do the same thing in the Android uh, uh, platform. So now, there are many locations that are actually marked around the world as dangerous, right? So these are the locations that we have marked. Currently about 700 different locations are marked as dangerous. And we, we actually don't take if only one person actually marks it dangerous, three people have to actually mark the location as dangerous. <clears throat> and that's when we take the uh, location as dangerous, right? So currently what we have is we are actually building a solution where it's a camera on your phone. Whenever you're trying to take a picture uh, selfie, it will actually annotate the picture to tell you whether the location that you're standing is dangerous or not. Not only from the location that we had crowdsourced, but also from the analysis that we could do through the phone itself. Now machine learning, deep learning has become more, uh, so to say, prevalent. We can actually do things on your phone also, right? So we have actually built the solution to show that whether the current location that you're taking the selfie is dangerous or not. So it's not only the technological solutions that we have seen actually in the last one and a half years on this project. We have actually seen a lot of non-technical solution and regulation which actually also shows up. So I don't know how many of you have tried taking a selfie in a railway station. If you take it anymore, you can get arrested. There's actually government uh, police order which says that you can be arrested if you're trying to take a selfie in a railway station, right? This happened after November 2016. And there are many things that have happened. Karnataka said that 400 locations are no selfie zones. Mumbai said some uh, 19 locations is no selfie zones. All of this proliferation of saying that, oh, this selfie thing we have to actually somehow contain. Interestingly, all of this is driven by research, right? Um, even though we built technologies, we built technologies so that you could all use, but we also actually have all of this is backed by research, and these are research pointers for the work that we did. I don't know how many of you have seen this ad. This was an ad that is actually showing up on uh, TV, YouTube, everywhere. Uh, this is a Samsung solution that they built uh, for actually three different modes on the Samsung phone, which you can use. And this ad actually garnered about 15, uh, 150 million views. And the Minister of uh, Road Transport actually spoke about this, saying that you should be safe, drive safe on the road. When he speaks about this, he actually refers to the research from IIIT Delhi. Right? It's a research done by undergraduate students and the computing research done, the federal minister of the country is actually talking about it. Less than one and a half years. That's the impact you want to get and that's the social computing impact that you can get with actually providing computing solutions, so to say. Right? So it is not, so every time I give this talk, I, I, I end up actually getting a question like saying, okay, you did this all this computer science thing because you're a computer scientist, but the problem is that I don't understand why people are taking these selfies, right? People taking these selfies are not the, so to say, computer science aspect. So currently in the last about six, eight months, what we have done is uh, we are actually working with an anthropologist who is studying why people are taking these kind of dangerous selfies. Can we actually get into the, so to say, uh, thinking and figure out what they are doing, right? So currently we have done about 100, plus interviews, focus group discussion, figuring out what is going on in the head while taking uh, uh, these selfies. It definitely connects back to the social pressure, which is, I did a picture uh, when I was getting introduced, right? So I, with that picture, I'm sure you're getting, a, I'm going to post it on Facebook and I'm actually going to get garner some uh, likes or shares or comments on it. So I'm sure there will be a social pressure for you to take a picture of uh, selfie in the TEDx and actually post it on social media. That's kind of social uh, pressure and also about social approval. Uh, in terms of my cohort is doing, which is my friends are doing, so I should also try and do, right? So those are the kind of reasons why we think that people are doing it, but I'm sure there are many more things to try and do. What can you do for actually solving the problem? Uh, that's the URL for downloading the Android app and the Facebook chatbot. Uh, mark locations is dangerous. Please use this app when you're actually figuring out uh, traveling and mark locations which are dangerous. Stop people from taking uh, selfies. If you, And that's the biggest way to actually train people. Give awareness about the uh, selfies that they're taking, life is definitely worthier than actually uh, taking a selfie and posting it on social media. With that, thank you.